We're going to learn how to make an income statement. Uh, the income statement shows how much a company earned during a given period, such as a fiscal year. Uh, the three major financial statements, the others being cash flow statement and balance sheet. I'd say the income statement is the most important. It is the most scrutinized because basically it tells you um, how much money did the company make. Um, are they paying out dividends? Are they keeping the retained earnings? And remember, the goal of the firm is to maximize the wealth for the shareholders. And this is a statement that really tells us where is that wealth. Okay, the, of the uh, income statement, you can look into three different categories. So one is the trading account right here. Oh. Uh, we also have the profit and loss account and the appropriation account. So the trading account in green deals with the price of goods sold and expenses directly related to the sale of these goods. So I mean by price is how much we sold it for, our sales, and the expenses related to that. Um, it gives you the gross profit, which basically does not include any expenses from the, the, the magenta and blue below. Uh, the profit and loss account reflects the management of the business. So this is the overhead and the management behind the scenes, not directly related to the actual product um, being sold. So we can see how well management is um, taking care of things. And then lastly, the appropriation account shows how that profit is then distributed in the company. So we have taxes, dividends, profits, um, and also um, interest. So in creating this, um, I had this template here, which I say is a simple template that you can use to remember. Um, it always goes trading, profit, loss, appropriation. Normally, you would never have to show um, those titles on the side. I just think this is an easy visual to see. Also, um, lots of times on a question, you'll be asked to make the trading and profit loss account, or even just profit loss account, and all that's going to include is the, the top two, the green and the magenta one. You don't have to worry about the appropriation if it says just create a profit and loss account. You need to include all of it if it says create an income statement. So let's look at the question here. So we have Foot Locker Shoe Company. They sell 9,000 shoes at $50 each. That means uh, $450,000 in sales. So we'll put that in. Okay. They receive 10,000. What I would do every time you, you do one, you might go in order, but just cross it off. Because in an exam, you want to go as quick as possible. So that way I know exactly where I left off. Uh, receive 10000 from renting out part of the warehouse to another company. So this is not a normal part of their business. So that's non-operating income right here. So $10,000 for that. Okay. Um, interest expense, $8,000. So we see where that is. Okay. And I'm just going to put a negative on that because I know that's an outflow of money. Overhead expense, $185,000. So that's going to be our less expenses right here. So this is money that is used by the company that's not directly related to the goods sold or the services sold. Taxes, $15,000. All right. Dividend, $22,000. Opening inventory, 175. And if we think, hmm, this actually doesn't really relate to this part right here. So let's keep going. Purchase inventory, 150. Closing, 125. This is just telling us a little bit about our sales. But then we see cost of sales. That's the important one right here. Cost of sales is the same thing as cost of goods sold, or as I say, COGS. So that is 200,000. So first thing you do is input all this information and then find your um, items in bold right here. All right, so 450 minus 200,000 gives us 250,000. Minus our expenses will give us an operating profit of 65,000. So operating profit is basically just your earnings before interest and tax. 
Okay, so we have our interest and tax here. Um, so minus plus non-operating income. So we actually gain some money, 75,000 here. And then our net profit before tax, we minus our interest, and that will give us 67,000. Then net profit after interest and tax, so minus 15 is 52,000. And again, minus 22 will give us 30,000. So the retained profit, the retained earnings of the company is 30,000. Um, one thing you also should do that I just completely forgot about, you should title your income statement. Because right now, you don't know what statement this is. So at the top, I would put income statement for year end. Um, year and let's say December 2012. <coughs> so I know exactly when was this income statement made. The income statement is not a projection. It is based on actual information from the company. The only potential projection is a taxation. But basically everything in there is actual numbers so we know at the end of the day or the end of the year in this case it was $30,000. So this is just a simple template uh, for making an income statement and looking at the different types of accounts, trading, profit and loss, and appropriation accounts.